everyone. In this video, I want to show you how you can secure your website even more with a two-factor authentication that comes right in the box with two of my favorite security plugins for WordPress. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So when you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to your plugins and make sure you have the solid security or WordFence or both of them installed on your website. If not, head over to add new plugin, search for the plugins in the WordPress repository, and then install them, configure them. If you want to, I have the solid security configuration video on my website. It will be popping up right now on your screen. And the WordFence is coming up, or if you're watching this in the future, it is already on the channel and you'll be able to see that popping up right now on your screen. First of all, I want to start with the solid security basic. And what you want to do is head over to your security and then head over to settings. And then under the settings, you want to head over to features. And then under features, we have login security. You want to make sure that the two-factor authentication is enabled on your website. Next thing that you want to do is head over to your users and edit each or one of them. For that matter, I'll head over to edit my own user, head over, click edit, then scroll to the bottom until you see the solid security section right over here. Then you'll be able to see here we have two-factor authentication and then you want to click configure. And over here, it will jump you back to your dashboard. But one thing that will happen right now is if I'll click over here and then I log out. And once I'm logged out, you'll be able to see here that I have my username and my password. And then when I log in, you might be redirected to the following page where it says mobile app two-factor is temporarily unavailable. Please try another two-factor method or contact the site administrator. And then you have the other option of email. If you have encountered this message or you're trying to enter your website, even in the future, and you're seeing this message, you're in luck because I found a solution for you to resolve that. Now, I went to the wordpress.org forum. It took a little while, but I found it. Now, this thread, as you can see here, we have the two-factor authentication not working can reset by Al Frame, and he turns this problem to solid security. And we have Chandelier, I hope I pronounced it correctly. It was three months and three weeks ago in a time of the recording of this video. And she's suggesting two options to resolve that. First is to remove your old key from the authenticator app. The next thing that you want to do is click the configure button. And when you get to the select methods step, click the mobile app arrow icon to see the QR. It's what we had to see, but we're not seeing it currently on our screen. If you have seen that QR code, you're good to go. You scan it with your authenticator app, enter the generated code to verify and complete the setup. If that doesn't work, what Chandler suggests you to do is to add a specific code to the wbconfig.php file in your file manager if you're using the direct admin or cPanel. I'm going to walk you through the exact step that you have to do if you prefer to use the old two-factor authentication settings UI because they changed some of the things. And therefore, we have, as we can see here, defined solid security legacy two-factor UI true. Head over to your cPanel or to your hosting where your WordPress files are in. And usually it will be under the public HTML or in my case, it is a subdomain. So go to your subdomain folder and over here, head over to the WP config file right over here. Click the right button on your mouse and then edit it. Yes, on the edit. I'm aware of that. Edit. Now, be very careful where you paste this code. I will show you, but please, if you're not familiar with the files or if you're not familiar with PHP, please don't try to change some things over here because if you are not familiar with it and you don't know what to do here, your site can be messed up really quickly. What you want to do is scroll to the bottom and then when you see this section over here, add any custom values between this line and the stop editing line. And we have that's all stop editing happy publishing. You want to paste this code right over here where I pasted it between these two lines. It is very, very important. Once that is done, you want to head over and then click the save changes on the right top hand corner of your screen. All right, that's what we're going to do. You have not made changes to save. That's my case, but let's say we want to cut it out of here and then save changes. You'll see here we have success. And then when we paste that back over here, we have again, save changes. What you want to do is head over back to your user interface inside the WP admin dashboard. And over there, we'll see a different UI than we've seen before. If you're not sure how I was being able to log into my WP admin dashboard, it was through my hosting provider. What you want to do is scroll to the bottom. And then once you've pasted that code, we'll see the following interface over here. This is the old one. As you can see, it changed from what we've seen 
seen before. And here, what you want to do is enable the email option and the mobile app option. Now, I've made the mobile app option as my primary. As you can see here, it is recommended. Next thing that you want to do is head over here to this button under the mobile app and then click it. And then you'll be greeted with the QR code that we were supposed to see on the back end or the front end on the user login interface. It was supposed to be there. It's fine. It's here. But as you can see here, the apps will be similar. We have Authy, Google Authenticator, Free Opt Authenticator, or Tofer. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I usually go with the Google Authenticator. And next thing that you want to do is just scan this QR code. And then you just want to enter the app. You want to click on the bottom right hand corner of your screen, depending on the language of your app. And then just click the plus icon and we have scan QR code. So I'll click it. We have a little box over here. When I scan it, it automatically edited it. And we can see here right at the bottom, we have here our website. So easy WP for you. And we can see the timer on the right side of the authenticator code. Every 30 seconds, it would be refreshed. Just insert the code right here, authentication code, and then just verify. And once it is verified, we can see here a message success. Once that is done and is authenticated, what you want to do is scroll to the bottom and then just update profile. Once the profile is updated, you'll be able to log out and then log in and you'll be greeted with the following page. What I did here, I just signed in with my user and my password. And then now we'll be able to see we have our authentication code right from our app. We have the other option that we've set it up just before that of email. If the authentication app doesn't work for some reason, you'll be able to just switch it, just click the email. Or if you're in the email option and you want to go to the mobile app option, just click it mobile app and we'll switch it to the mobile app option. What I'm going to do is going to enter my mobile app and I'm just going to insert the code. Once you've typed your code, just click authenticate and then it will log you in as you might be able to see right now. Once we're done with the solid security or solid WP plugin, next thing we have is WordFans. Now WordFans is a little simpler than what we had with the solid security. So what you want to do is head over to WordFans and over here, you want to head over to login security. And here you'll be greeted with a QR code as well as the code for the authenticator app. You would want to download that code. And once you scan the QR code on your mobile app, as we've seen before, for the mobile app that I would recommend you to scan these QR codes, whether it's on solid security or on WordFans, is the Google Authenticator. You scan that, then you enter the code over here and then you activate it. And then the next time, as we've seen in the solid security, you want to log in, you'll have this two-factor authentication popping up. So it will help you to secure a website even more, whether it's your own website, your blog, or your clients. So you have here a win-win situation. So one thing to note here is that if you have both of these plugins are activated on your website, you don't have to configure each one of them for two second authentication. So you would want to choose one of them. So once you log into your website, one of them is active and then you'll be able to use the two factor authentication option. But if you're not a fan of these security plugins, which I think you should be using if you're using WordPress, just as a general good rule to follow is to install security plugin for the WordPress website. Now, if you want to, there is a dedicated plugin for that. You can go to plugins and then add new. And over here, you want to write inside the search box right over here, you want to write two factor. Now we have different plugins for that. As you can see here, we have solid security and WordPress just beneath it. But there were times that I was using the two factor over here. You just install and then activate it. And it's generally just works out of the box, just sends you an email to the user email, the unique code for that login. And yeah, that's pretty much for this video. I really hope this video helped you and just to make your website a little more secure and less vulnerable for hacks. And if you like this video, I'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any video that I post on this channel. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.